and the small mom, Lydia was the only the best for choice. Although both the son and the daughter lived far apart from each other, Lydia never failed to keep in touch with Joyce every single day, despite the happy fulfilled. What an amazing father she was. Both the mother and daughter were finally reunited when Joyce grew up and went back to Hong Kong to pursue a movie and acting career. However, life is all is not well in Lydia's life. Just when Lydia was about to be the with the doctor, Lydia was diagnosed with liver cancer. Prior to that, Lydia had been suffering from chronic ailments such as hypertension and diabetes. She had been moving in and out from the hospital time and again. Again, she persevered and moved on. She underwent two surgeries in 2006 and 2007 to help the tumor heal her liver removed. The last time Lydia appeared on the television was in November last year. It was when Lydia received the Lifetime Achievement Award during TVB's NFA Award presentation. Lydia's hairdo and the glasses still look the same, but this time she looked much skinnier than before. And she was in a wheelchair. She was reportedly lost some 20 kilograms. There were tears and not laughter when she presented her speech after she did her walk. She said, I hope my health will progress day by day. I will not give up easily the TV career that I was born. She ended her speech with a big applause. Lydia was once again admitted to the hospital at the Tessie Clinic of the Queen Mary Hospital in Hong Kong on 2nd February 2008. At 9 a.m., 19 February 2008. Her family decided that Lydia would be taken off the life support. It was then decided that the breathing crisis be removed from her and the family members spend time with her by her return. Lydia passed away peacefully late in the morning at 8 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a short yet meaningful story of the reading. There is so much to learn from her. Firstly, she was never ever ever with her looks. She never let the witness, the only witness for her, to become an obstacle from being successful in her second career. Secondly, she was so optimistic all her life. Her failed marriage with Adam Chang was not the end of the world for her. She persevered and life went on where official for her. And she still don't have any when such a doctor joins. Thirdly, and most importantly, in her perseverance. She persevered all the she persevered through all the difficult times in her life. So ladies and gentlemen, let not the memory of these ones fade from us with her death. Learn from them. Be ourselves. Be confident in ourselves. Let's not emulate someone which we are not. Secondly, be optimistic in our life, just like what we do to be in her. Last but not least, never ever give up in whatever you need. With that, I shall end the speech.